What's up, everybody? So, uh, <laughs> Simple Beauty. I wanted to make a quick video about this. It's, uh, I was in the kitchen this morning, just a minute ago, and, uh, I loaded up a bowl. I was getting ready to smoke it. And I looked at the pipe I have here, and I absolutely adore this bubbler. And my friend made it for me, who is an artist who uh, just started blowing glass, you know, about you know a few months before, about maybe a year before this. But he didn't do it full time or anything. But uh, point being that he put in his passion into what he did. It wasn't done for money. He invested in the materials and stuff to do it because he liked creating. And a lot of the projects I do, I'm an artist too. I, you know. I, not a great painter or anything. I just, uh, I really can't draw for shit, but I like to create, do crafts, uh, projects. I used to do hemp bracelets, jewelry, all kinds of stuff. I've done some glass blowing with my friends, although my pipes didn't really turn out too well. But I did some cool beads and stuff, and I, I just love working with materials. And in art, I have found that simplicity is always the key. Actually, that's funny, because it's that one of those songs I wrote. Uh, that I uploaded the other day was very, very simple. And I was commenting, somebody commented, and I was talking about exactly that, that I found that the simplest songs are my favorite. Whenever I hear a simple song on the radio, it always ends up being my favorite. But, um, you know, my friend, uh, my other friends blow glass too, and they make these crazy pipes. I mean, they're huge. And uh, they're just, they're beautiful. But it's almost like the beauty can't be grasped because of the complexity in the size. And this, although this is just a small bubbler, it's very simple. It has some very um, simple designs in it. Uh, it's almost like that mother of pearl looking stuff in there. Very simple lines, beautiful swirls. And it's just a simply beautiful piece. I was dumb enough to put it in the freezer on mistake. and. Uh, broke the whole can off of it, and I begged him to fix it for me. And it was the first repair any glass blower's ever done for me that was successful, but uh, he was all bummed out because it was clear. I was like, no, that adds more of the beauty to it. Actually, now that I think about it, probably adding that clear on the bottom takes away some of the more complex designs on the bottom and makes it even more simple, and a simple beauty. And uh, I guess when I see a big painting, I just, if it's too much and it's too busy, I just can't really find the beauty in it. And uh, I'm not going to pretend to think something's beautiful just because it's complex. There's a certain component of beauty in complexity, just by the nature of the complexity itself. But that's different from aesthetics and visual beauty. Think about the you know, what people consider beautiful in even one another, you know, different features, but too perfect of a person, you know, tends to detract from the whole simplicity, the simple beauty. Okay. But that's, of course, all in the eye of the beholder. And all art is, too. Everything is. See, we can't deny that there's a component of ourselves that loves beauty. So no matter how non-attached we are to visual say, you know, it's not about what you look like, it's about what's in your heart. Well, to an extent, that's true. But there is a certain degree of initial beauty that draws you to someone, just like something. And I tend to avoid things that are too complex uh, as far as art that's very super detailed. And, you know, I would much rather have this nice little pipe that I can sit and say, whoa, I can see all the beauty at once, and it's all inclusive. I don't know if that makes sense to everybody, but I see beauty in rather the plant finding beauty in a leaf, you know. Uh, rather than finding beauty in the park, you find beauty sitting on one bench. Anyway, just some thoughts on beauty. Hope you're all having a great day. I'm out. Peace.